A local woman who started as a medical student had an idea when her friend was having a particularly hard time during her period. Now the product she came up with turned into an organic feminine care company. Two on your side's Karis Belger shows us how she's helping women have an easier time of the month every month. With my degree in biology, uh, I'm pro-health first. As a pre-med student, Daviel Jackson understood the importance of choosing the right feminine product. And after a friend developed a hormonal disorder, the need hit close to home. One of my close friends, childhood friends, came to me and said, hey, I'm suffering from PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. None of the tampons or pads her friend tried would work. She wanted to create something that would help her friend and other women who have heavy periods. It's such a vulnerable place in our body. And as you have just chemicals sitting on there for seven days in this closed, tight space, it becomes unhealthy. This was her solution, a pretty biodegradable panty. And then I was like, you know what, we're going to take the taboo out of this content and uh, make it pretty and fun. And instead of a separate piece, the protection is on the inside. Uh, the pad in the panty is one unit, no shifting, no movement. So it kind of fits to the woman body, therefore there's no leaks. Business has already taken off. A year after she started, Davielle had a million dollar contract with Walmart. She's moved exclusively to online orders to keep up with the customer demand. She says as the company grows, her main concern is just making sure her products keep women healthy. No plastic, no anything, no chemical. So if there's a chemical, we can't use it at all. Even her packaging is made from plant-based materials. Part of Davielle's commitment to making healthier women and a healthier world. And Davielle's products are available online to order, and she hosts chats on her social media where she discusses things women need to know about their menstrual cycle. Kara Spelger, Channel 2 News.